Good afternoon, my fellow freedom fighters of the world. Welcome to another great segment of walking on the Whipkey Ridge Warpath. And after today's great 10 mile march, I'm proud to say that I'm going to be at 9,470 miles. Yes, my friends, I'm very proud. And uh, no matter what anybody can do against me, and the reason why I'm bringing up this is because they can erase my YouTube. They can delete my website, but they can never delete my accomplishment of walking in all these mountains. No matter what they do. Uh, thanks for joining me. I know you uh, clicked on this video because of the title. And... Uh, it's called Fukus Fukushima Save Japan's Kids Update. Uh, basically, it, there will be the second, the first link you find in the information section of this video uh, is the link to a blog that I just did, and it's called Jeff Renz and Paul Zimmer: No Safe Dose of Radiation. There is no such thing as a safe dose of radiation. It was, it's a great interview. Jeff Renz is a great info warrior and uh, my hat's off to him for all the hard work he's done through the BP oil crisis and now through the Fukushima crisis. But anyways, uh, for the last month I've been under attack from Janet Napolitano and I did that video. I see. I always do my videos with a title someone already did on the subject because basically, like I always say in my videos, I'm the introduction. Like the days of old in great television, there would be like, for example, uh, the Twilight Zone or uh, Alfred Hitchcock presents. You know, Alfred Hitchcock would come on and joke around and talk about what was on his mind. But then he goes to the, the other subject, which is really the subject that you're interested in. But he gets to p get his thoughts about he, what he wants to say out too. So it's, it's a genius way to introduce, to entertain people. And uh, that's how I'm able to get, survive the uh, tyranny of free speech on YouTube. And they actually got tired of me getting away with it and they uh, were going to delete all my hard work and they were also going to delete all my hard work on my website after they couldn't get me on YouTube so I explain that more in the second uh, link that you'll find in the information section and it's a Michael Savage video that I did but the blog the video, like I said, explains more. So let's get on with this subject. So while I was in the penalty box, because uh, we found out uh, years ago when uh, people were reporting all around the, the world of the NATO countries and the United Nations that Jan Napolitano was making surprise visits to these countries to inspect their FEMA camps. We've been in the New World Order for a long time, my friends. But anyways, um, I was, I, I always take advantage of a disadvantage. That's been one of my mottos. So there I was in Jan Napolitano's penalty box. And so I've noticed uh, over all the years of covering Fukushima, well, not all, well, it's going to be two years, but, uh, that no one came up with a save Japan's kids and as you all know who know about radiation they're the ones that pay the cost and, and as always it goes to my finding out all these years of investigating since 9-11 I never stopped studying about these evil fuckers that rule the planet they're a bunch of satanic Luciferian Nazi fascist New World Order scumbags and they they get off on killing kids man they get off on it you can go to David Icke's uh, 
theory about how these people aren't even humans because we're headed down the road of destruction my friends so like I said I made there will be a link to my Facebook page while I was in the penalty box I made a whole bunch of pages uh, go check it out because instead of doing the news uh, once every like two two times a month I'm doing it like every other day now so they hit me hard but now I'm fighting them harder so now I'm getting the, the news out faster about Fukushima because of them trying to fuck me over don't fuck with me man the wise patriot will always outfox the fucking hounds of tyranny that's my quote inspired by Benjamin Franklin without the freedom of speech there can be no such thing as public liberty and that's what actually made me think of that saying was Ben Franklin inspired me to think about that and he also said without the freedom of thought there can be no such thing as wisdom so there's a battle for our minds our hearts and our souls my friends they're killing our kids with this radiation poisoning and there's all kinds of disinformation out there to it's just we're living in 10 parallels of reality is the only way you can look at it but go check it out also at the bottom of this uh at the in the information section of this video is a link to another like page i made uh save help help what's it's called, it's called help marine sergeant Charles Dyer. He is he's the first prisoner of war in this info war. And I also made one that goes along with this subject about the uh, Fukushima and I put like fracking news on there. Anything about uh go, the uh the FDA uh, FDA tyranny under Obama's uh Obama slave care and the war against the vitamin stores, all that. If we don't save the honeybees, we're dead in four years. Einstein said that. So go check out that one. I put news on the save on my save the honeybees like page every other day too. So like I said, don't fuck with me. I'll just fuck you over because the truth is what we're fighting for, my friends. And that's all I march for. The truth, freedom, our soldiers and our children. Check it out. Have a great day wherever you're at in the world. And I'll see you guys in the next video.